Hi, welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for Land Surveyors. Brought to you by EricColburn.com Professional Land Surveyor Source. This video is AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 Curve Calculator. Hi, Eric here, and today we'll be discussing the Curve Calculator in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. Curve Calculator is an, a function that's been around for a long time, so uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, we'll go over uh, what it does and for those of you who may have used it before you might be struggling uh, to find <laughs> where it's located where to find that command in uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 so hopefully we accomplish both of those things curve calculator very simply is just a function that that you can uh, plug in data about a curve and it'll calculate the, the proper variables for and parameters for that curve and you know it can be used in, in a few ways I mean obviously you, you if you know a couple of the parameters for a curve you can put those in and then it'll populate all the other parameters uh, maybe you only know you know delta uh, and tangent or radius and length and, and it'll give you all the the proper uh, parameters uh, calculated for that curve uh, I think you know you may use it the, the way I use it in my land surveying practice is uh, quite often I will will be calculating a boundary and I'll have an older plan and it will have curve information on it and sometimes uh, either through the drafting process or, or when they calculated uh, what they were doing on it you know you can you can get a bogus uh, number within the, the listed curve uh, information and, and so you have to ferret out which one's right which one's wrong or perhaps they only give you you know two variables and you, you want to figure out what the what the other parameters are for that uh, curve so let's uh, switch to model space you can see that I've just you know, drawn some properties here and created a parcel uh, which has uh, two curves at the, the bottom left and the bottom right. And I'll just zoom in a little. And, and so listed are the length of curve, uh, the radius, and the delta angles. Obviously automatically labeled, so hopefully those are correct var variables, but perhaps you're looking at a survey plan that somebody else has drawn, and particularly sometimes older plans, and you, you want to verify all the information uh, that is listed. So where is the curve calculator? Well, you can find it, there's three ways that you can access it. One is the menu bar, uh, which I have left on in my uh AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 drawing and you can see it along the top so you can go to lines and curves pull that drop down menu and you'll see curve calculator select that and up comes the curve calculator interface so that's one way of getting to it the other way is with the ribbon which I also have running along the top of my screen and on the home tab if you go to the drawer section and I'm hovering right now over curves but you see there's a little drop down selection pick that and at the bottom of that drop down list is curve calculator click on that and again curve calculator is available to you the third option is through the command line and you can see at the bottom on my command line uh, underscore AECC curve calculator and that will bring the screen up too. So if, you, if you're a command line person, you can type that in A E C C C U R V E C A L C U L A T O R, curve calculator, and it will also bring up this screen. So now you know how to find it. Okay, so now we have the curve calculator open. Now you have to specify how you want the degree of curve to be determined, whether it's by arc or by chord. And the chord definition uh, is, is typically an option you would use if this was a, a ra you were dealing with railway curves. And with this option, the degree of curve is the angle at the center of the circular curve subtended by a chord uh, in 100 units. Obviously, if you're working in feet, then it's subtended by that chord of 100 feet. The arc definition uh, is used more often with roadway curves, and with this, the degree of curve is the central angle subtended by a circular arc of 100 units, again, or 100 feet, but it can be any unit. So in this case, I am working with the arc definition, but you can see there's a drop-down list where you can pick arc definition or chord definition. 
And I guess the, the second thing you have to decide is what is going to be the fixed property. There are two choices for this. You can hold the radius as fixed or you can hold the delta angle as fixed. Right now it's set up to hold the uh, delta angle as fixed. And then you can put in different inputs for degree of curve, delta angle, radius, tangent distance, arc distance, chord distance, external distance or mid-ordinate distance. And the one problem with this is if you're holding delta angles fixed and you want to enter that, you could tell or not tell, I was trying to uh, click in that field for delta angle. It won't let you do it. So what you need to do if you're going to hold, whichever one you're going to hold, whether it's radius or delta angle, in this case, I'm going to use delta angle, you need to switch to the other option initially. A little clunky. So in this case, I'm going to put in my, my delta angle of 90. Okay. Now I'm going to go back up and select delta angle. And what that does is it locks in what you have put in in the delta angle field, which in this case was 90 degrees. Okay, so now that I've entered the delta angle and I've set that as a fixed property, I'm going to go in and, I mean, I can pick any one of these. In this case, I'll put in a radius of 50 feet, which matches what I had uh, drawn, which you can see just to the right. And it populates the rest of the fields with what are the, uh, the correct parameters of that curve. And in this case, you can see the arc distance is listed as 78.540 feet. And in the drawing itself, uh, that, that corroborates with that. It's 78.540. This is a good way uh, to evaluate uh, data that uh, could be in a digital, in a, an AutoCAD drawing that's been sent to you although you may use uh, more of the, the listing commands to look at that curve and just click on it and, and see what the listing is for it. Typically, I, again, I think you would use this more with, you know, you have a, a paper copy of a plan and there's uh, some uh, curve information on it and you want to verify that. So that that's how it's used. I can go through and just show you, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep the radius as 50 feet. We're going to hold that as the fixed property. And this time I'll put in the arc distance, you know, I'll put in 79, just something that's definitely not going to match up with this. Uh, but you'll see that it recalculates what all the other uh, parameters would be with holding the radius. So it's a good way to, to play around with, with maybe published uh, values and then come in here and maybe you can figure out uh, where somebody made a mistake when they were drafting a plan. Perhaps they transposed some number or just did a, a, a bogus calculation. Lastly, with the curve calculator, you'll see up at the upper left hand corner a little box with a mouse arrow pointing to it and select arc object in drawing. Uh, kind of a handy little feature. I'm going to click that. Then I'll select a curve in the drawing. And then it, it fills in all the information uh, about that curve. So it calculates it based on that physical object in the drawing. And, you know, this could be another good way to uh, check some of the uh, information if somebody has sent you an AutoCAD plan and it has all these labels on it and you want to verify that the labels are correct. You can go around your drawing and uh, use the curve calculator to uh, look at what was published on that plan to make sure that it's correct. So there's a little demonstration of how to use the curve calculator. I hope that's been helpful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me uh, at ericcolburn.com, ecolburn, E-C-O-L-B-U-R-N, at ericcolburn.com. This has been AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for Land Surveyors, brought to you by ericcolburn.com, the professional land surveyor source.